everyone who has attention problems does not have ADHD, surely. And uh, it is true, I mean, people can be more distracted nowadays with the internet and social media and things along those lines. And in fact, some people argue that attentional problems may be in fact increasing as a society. But really, it's important to look at what other possibilities there could be. So for example, if people really are having depression, that can cause distractibility and that can look like ADHD. Or they're very anxious and they're distracted by their anxious thoughts. Or they're actually manic and so they're hyperactive because of mania and it just looks like ADHD. Or it could be a num numerous other things. Like people have a traumatic brain injury and they're very distracted because their brain uh, functioning is not very good and it can uh, cause distractibility. So we look at all of these possibilities and the good thing about the kind of testing that we do is that we have tests that are very sensitive in picking up ADHD, but we also have tests that are very specific to ADHD as a neurobiological disorder. And that's where the brainwave testing is very helpful because that's really much more specific to ADHD. And that helps us rule out these other causes. It is definitely possible that people can have attentional problems when it's not ADHD. And we want to make sure that we get to the root cause of it. People who have attentional problems, adults as well as kids, tend not to do as well in life. And so your whole trajectory in your life can be changed if you get appropriate diagnosis and treatment. I'm Dr. Vashnavi with Carolina Partners in Mental Health Care, and I want you to be well.